download our Revise It Right revision app for hundreds of videos, quizzes, exam questions, tutor support, and so much more. This video is about metals and non-metals. Now, metals are elements which can form positive ions when they react, and that is because they lose electrons when they react. Okay, so, for example, an element in group 1 only has one electron, and therefore it's easier to lose one electron than gain seven, so it will lose one electron when it's reacting. They are found on the left-hand side, and remember last video we drew this staircase and said that metals are found on the left and non-metals are found on the right hand side. Metals bond together by metallic bonding. So a metal and a metal will bond by a metallic bond, which gives them very similar properties. And we'll talk about that in our metallic bonding video. But for now, we just need to understand that metals are elements which can form positive ions when they react, and they are found on the left hand side. Now, uh, non-elements, on the other hand, are elements which form negative ions or bond covalently. And we'll talk about this more when we go to our ionic bonding video and our covalent bonding video. And as we said, they are, bond they are found on the right-hand side. So non-metals are found here. They don't bond by metallic bonding and therefore they also um, have similar properties as well. So, for example, uh, metal. Remember to download our Revise It Right Revision app, watch over 700 videos, answer 4,000 plus quiz questions, over 1,000 flashcards, 1,000 exam questions, worksheets, forums, and get help from qualified teachers, and so much more. The link is in the description. Tools, we just said that metals have similar properties. Uh, let's go through them. Well, they are good conductors, as we know, of both heat and electricity. They have high boiling points. They're strong. And also they're malleable, i.e. they can be bent or hammered into different shapes. So metals, good conductors of heat, they have high boiling points, they're strong and they're malleable. Whereas non-metals, on the other hand, genuinely do not conduct electricity or heat. They tend to have low boiling points and low melting points. They are low in density, lower density than metals, and they tend to be quite dull looking. Um, whereas of course we said that um, metals tend to be uh, more shiny in look. Okay, so we need to be aware of these properties. The properties of metals are they conduct heat, high boiling point, strong, malleable and shiny. Whereas the properties of non-metals, they do not conduct electricity or heat. They have low boiling points, low density and they're dull looking. So here are some summary questions. Pause the video to have a go. Okay, let's go through the answers then. So metals form what type of ions? Metals will form positive ions because they lose electrons and electrons are negative. Where do you find metals on the periodic table on the left? True or false? Most elements on the periodic table are metals. That is in fact true. State two properties of metals where the good conductors of electricity. That is one property. Or we can also say they're strong. They have high boiling points and they're malleable. They're shiny. State two properties, however, of non-metals. Well, they're dull. Uh, we can say they don't generally conduct heat or electricity. They have low boiling or melting points and they're lower in density. And non-metals form what type of ions? They will form negative ions or they will bond covalently, which we'll look at in a future video. So we've now looked at metals and non-metals. Plenty of practice on the website. And as ever, if there's anything you didn't understand, get into contact with a tutor who will happily help.